Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe down below. My name is Adiola and I upload videos about Africa, the black community and growing as a whole. So if you're interested in videos on those topics, please do subscribe down below and join our community. So I'm very excited for today's video because today is gonna to be another facts about an African country's video. I know I haven't done one in a while. I haven't even done a video in a while. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Today we are going to be diving into the country Chad. But before we do, I want to say if you haven't already, please do go to my website at africa.com. Uh, we are an online platform aim to raising African communities sustainably whilst also educating Africans and the diaspora to see Africa as a thriving rich beautiful to not only travel to but to think of a future in so make sure you do check out our website we've got loads of information about different African countries and we've got a lot of information um, in regards to traveling there and we've even got a shop where we sell handmade African items where you can purchase and then money goes back to those African communities so make sure you do go and check out adiafrica.com and all that good stuff so first let's let's dive into Chad what do you know about Chad let me ask you that first Girl, me neither. Me neither. Honestly, I had to research quite a bit about this country when I was writing the website and also when I'm now making this video. And wow, this country is so beautiful. This country is so diverse. Even I didn't know. So let's get into it. So Chad is a landlocked country. It's bordered by six other African countries, which are Libya, Chad, Niger, Nigeria, um, Central African Republic and Cameroon. Chad is so diverse in its natural landscape. In the northern half of the country you have the desert, the Sahara Desert, um, and in the southern half you have lush rainforest. In the northwestern side you also have some amazing mountains which we'll get to, into later. So the capital of the country is N'Djamena which is located in the south. Chad's local currency is the Central African franc. The country's official languages are French and Arabic but but get this, get this, over 120 languages and dialects are spoken in the country alone. The most populous language outside of French and Arabic is the Sahara, Sahara language, which is spoken by the Sahara people. And the Sahara people make up, they make up around 30% of the Chad population. So they are the largest ethnic group in Chad as well. Chad is home to a Mikusi, which is the largest volcano in the Sahara Desert. I didn't even know there were volcanoes in the Sahara Desert, but there you go. Chad is home to the largest one. Chad is home to Lake Chad, which is where it gets its name from. And lake Chad is the largest lake in Chad and is the largest freshwater lake in the world. Funnily enough, Lake Ch uh, Chad gets its name from Lake Chad, which was um, a huge river back in the day. Fortunately, due to climate change and other attributes, the lake has shrunken nearly 95% of what it used to be. So I know you may hear um, the word lake and you think, why is it related to Chad when it's very deserted, it's very dry? But that was because Lake Chad used to be used to be a really huge lake and now unfortunately it's not. Chad funnily enough also means lake in the Kanuri language so Lake Chad was basically called Lake Lake. Chad is one of the largest African countries, it's the fifth largest African country. Chad contains one of the few oases in the Sahara Desert. This oasis is called Guelta de Arache. Chad was home to one of the largest sub-Saharan West African uh, empires which was the Kardemburni Empire which thrived specifically in the 9th century. So though I did mention Chad is an incredibly dry country now, Chad actually is home to an abundance of water just under 
ground so um so as i mentioned before oasises can be found in the desert and this is due to the plethora of water actually underneath the ground in the country sorry if the lighting is changing it's the sun but chad is home to the bodily depression and the bodily depression is basically basically keeping us all alive let me explain the bodily depression is located in northern chad in the sahara desert and this happens when the Halmatan winds in the desert basically push together to form sandstorms which are car which carry particles and sediments all across um, all across the Atlantic all the way over to southern America specifically the Amazon rainforest when these sediments arrive there they still have the nutrients um, which are vital for the flora life in southern africa uh, southern in southern america so chadian desert is basically feeding plant life in the amazon which is keeping us all alive we love it we love to see that yes oh now this one's my favorite one one of the earliest signs of human life was found in chad yes now bear with me on this name remains of the salanthropos tinchadensis god i hope that got that right <laughs> well, anyway, this skull has been found to be over 7 million years old. Yes, yes, 7 million years. Now, Chad, also, they are musical geniuses over there, and they have what may be the largest trumpet in the world. The kakaki is a long, um, is a long musical instrument played only in Chad um, where it has a trumpet at the end and the instrument is over three meters long. To be able to play this trumpet you're very respected within Chadian society and it's seen as a symbol of power. Another interesting fact about Chad, Chad currently also only has one TV station which is owned by the government so Mm, yes <laughs> maybe something to keep in mind if you're ever planning to travel to Chad and you want to stay there in a hotel room that you're gonna have nothing to watch basically but yes I hope you like this video I hope you learned some things about Chad if you did please like share subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>